welcome back to my channel. I've been recently getting a swarm swarmed with questions about my lips and stuff like that saying did you get lip injections one which I was like girl no I had never gotten lip injections I've never gotten any plastic surgery so no and then other people were wondering how I make my lips look so big and other people wondering what color and I was like getting so many questions on my daily vlog channel for a tutorial after I posted my senior pictures vlog which I was wore this lip combo and my lips look pretty big everyone's freaking out so I'm here to answer y'all question and show you guys what I do um so basically I'm just going to show you how I do it's, it's definitely Kylie Jenner inspired as I would never wear dark colors and I saw how bomb it looked on her so I started doing it yes I copied my home girl so I hope you guys find this tutorial helpful in any way shape or form and before I get annoying I'm just gonna get right into it bye start off with putting a little bit of a powder on my lips. I kind of have some on, but I'm going to put some more on because if you put on a little bit of a powder on your lip before, it helps it last longer, you know, throughout the day. So I'm just using my beauty blender. I have some powder on it slash foundation and I just, I know, I look like a freak right now. So I'm going to start off by using Whirl Liner by MAC. This is exactly one that Kylie Jenner uses actually. You're feel free to use any one that looks like this. I'll swatch it just so you have an idea of the shade. It looks like a dark nude. Um, there's one by Rimmel that's really close. If you go to your local drugstore, check it out, try to find this color. I'll try to look up what the color of the Rimmel one is. But definitely World by MAC is a really good investment. So I'm going to start off by just lining that. And so what, what Kylie does, okay, she, I think she does have lip injections because, I mean, I don't want to start a controversy here, but it's kind of, there's no way you can overline your lips that much. It definitely looks like she has some filler like here and some filler in the middle. But um, she definitely also overlines her lips, or her makeup artist does. So what I like to do is I like to put it... You don't want to overline on these sides because it's going to look clown-like. So you want to keep it pretty close to your actual lips here, but you want to overline on the, the centers of your lips. So I'm just going to start by doing that. So as you can see, I'm overlining the bottom, but then staying close at the top. And just use feathery strokes, don't do one line. Unless you have that type of precision girl, then you do that. I got my red dress on tonight Dancing in the dark in the pale moonlight Done my hair up real big beauty queen style High heels off, I'm feeling alive like so. I know, it looks a little freaky. Now what you're going to do to make your lips look bigger, you're going to feathery, do feathery strokes on each end of the lips just so that more the lips look lighter in the center, which is going to cause them to look bigger and more plump. So I'm just going to feathery strokes out on each side, out here a little bit. It's like so. And then you're going to want to use a nude lipstick or whatever nude that you feel suits your face. I would recommend Max Myth. Um, Basically, I'm using Close to Real. There's like none left, but it's basically myth, but creamier. I like the finish of this one. It's called Close to Real. Like I said, it's discontinued though, but I would use myth or this, whatever. Any nude that fits your face. You don't want to use a nude that's too light for you just because it's a nude that she uses. You know what I'm saying? So if you're darker skinned, use a darker nude. If you're lighter skinned, use a lighter nude. Again, I think myth is probably the best one for all shades. And I'm just going to lightly thin the center and also around the lips. I'm going to pucker few times. We'll line a little more just to have it better visible to line. I'm just going to lightly feather your stroke on the sides and a little bit out here. D just to kind of get that ombre effect. You see how it's getting darker, getting light, and it's making my lips look a lot bigger than they are just because of that. I'm using this color for MAC. It's in Pure Fiction. You can use whatever shade you want. I would use if you want your lips to look more, more pinky use a light baby pink you want them to look more nude use a darker brown or if you're even a darker skin tone you can use like a a darker color so kind of how you feel in the center of my lips and a little bit above kind of put it wherever you want I put it mostly in the center so that is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I've been getting so many questions on it. So I hope I answer all y'all's questions. And I hope you guys have an amazing and wonderful day. Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel and to my daily vlog channel. Also, I have a link to my previous video at the end of this video. If you click on the thingy, and I'll have a link down below. I love you guys so much. And I hope you guys have an amazing, wonderful, and beautiful day. Ow!